Okay, we get to my field. Malware, computer viruses, and stuff like that, where I started out. Um, okay, the, uh, uh, this is, as I say, um, uh, to do with application security, application development security, and uh, related issues, but this is the insecure part of it. This is the bad code. This is the stuff that is deliberately intended to try and mess you up in terms of code programming development, uh, that sort of thing. Um, as I mentioned uh, before, the um, there there's a ton of of malware now in terms of the um, uh, the different types of, of malware, different uh, approaches and that sort of thing. And um, while the, the different types are exploding, um, it is not less important to determine the different types. It is now more important to determine the different types because... The different types use different approaches, different attacks, exploit different types of vulnerabilities, come at you in different ways. And so knowing the different types of malware is, is now more important because you need to know the different types of attacks and, and how to uh, approach it, how to... Uh, address a particular attack uh, against you. Um, uh, just as, as one example, uh, one thing that has been very annoying to me personally is um, recently uh, there's been an awful lot of talk of ransomware, uh, most of which is not actually ransomware. Ransomware um, is when somebody writes a program um, it, uh, generally speaking, encrypts the data on your computer, prevents you from getting at it. It's, it's kind of a denial of service attack. And they want a ransom to give you the key to decrypt your data and get it back. Um, this is being confused with a different type of attack, which uh, should more properly be called something like breach extortion, um, where somebody goes, steals your data or copies your data and then says, you need to pay us a ransom or we're going to release your data to the world and, and prove how bad your security is, embarrass you, whatever. Uh, now, this is, these are different types of attacks. In, in the one case, they only need uh, one access, and they don't actually have to do that directly. They can do it with a virus or Trojan that they can get somebody to install on your machine and encrypt all your stuff. In the other case, they have to actually get into your system, identify what is sensitive information, copy that information out. Um, the information may still be available to you, but the the attack is they are trying to uh, uh, embarrass you. They are kind of damage your reputation, and that's where they are uh, saying that you need to pay them a ransom. So um, even though ransom is involved in both cases, they are not both ransomware, uh, and. Uh, the, the media uh, conflates the two quite frequently, and and when you know a ransomware attack is announced, uh, those of us uh, who know the field have to uh, try and figure out from what the the account is and and the description of what's happening and and who's being asked for money and and what the the attackers are saying that they're going to do um, as to, you know, which which type this is. Is this truly ransomware? Is it a breach extortion attack? They are different types of things. They require different levels of access. They require different time frames for the attack. Um, uh, in addition, uh, there's different uh, means to address them. Um, you know, do you have a situation where uh, the the person 
who is uh, the, the attacker, uh, actually holds the data. And, you know, what can you do about that? Or uh, do you have a situation where uh, the attacker doesn't hold the data, but neither do you? And, and what do you do about that? There are, you know, completely different approaches here to rectify the situation. If it is a true ransomware attack, there are a, a number of, of issues, uh, a number of approaches. Uh, for example, uh, an awful lot of the, the people who do launch uh, actual ransomware attacks are incompetent. And so... Um, in, in some cases, uh, what they have done is they have encrypted your data, but um, the data is easily decrypted. The, the key is to be found in the software that they have used. And all you have to do is, is determine which uh, uh, piece of ransomware it is or which uh, family of ransomware it is. And, and obtaining the key uh, from that may be uh, uh, quite easy at that point. Uh, so you don't need to pay uh, the ransom in order to deal with that. On the other hand, again, in terms of incompetence, uh, sometimes they haven't encrypted properly. And sometimes it doesn't matter. You are not going to get your data back. Your data is, is gone. They have lost the key or they never figured out the key in the, in the first place. Um, and nobody can get your data back. So the, in, in that case, paying the ransom <coughs> to get your data back is in fact pointless. Um, there, you know, nobody is gonna get your data back. Um, so that, you know, uh, there are different issues and that's just with, with regard to whether or not it actually is ransomware. Um, again, if, if it's uh, breach extortion, completely different situation. And, you know, now, uh, yes, you've, you've got to figure out, okay, you know, do we, can we identify, did this person actually attack us? Does this person actually have the information that they say they have? Um, what can we do in terms of negotiation if they do? Um, you know, so all of, all of these things become uh, issues, and that's simply one confusion between two very specific types, different types, of malware. And, and so we've got, you know, a ton of uh, things to get right um, in terms of identifying what it is and therefore number one, how do we protect against it? Number two, how do we deal with it if we do get attacked? The, uh, the literature, uh, the, the source security literature does not do well in terms of malware. And unfortunately, I mean, I've been in this field uh, 35 or more years now. Um, and, and that is, it was true then and it's true now. Um, as I, I mentioned before, you know, 35 years ago, um, I wasn't even allowed to speak at security conferences because I didn't think that malware was a security issue. Uh, you know, kind of big mistake there. Um, the, uh, the literature uh, still is, is, you know, does not uh, address uh, malware in an effective manner doesn't uh, identify it properly doesn't um, give you the proper advice as to how to address it doesn't um, list all the different categories and so you have to go sort of into the specialty literature in terms of uh, malware and computer virus research um, so uh, that one is why I'm spending um, some time on this, not just because it was my original field, but uh, because there is a, a shortcoming in the literature overall. And so we'll, we'll try and address some of that uh, as we go through the next few clips.